So, you want to be a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 master. You want to ascend to the ranks of pro and you hope to be one day as great as perfection. Well, you'll never be as good as me, but I can help you gain the edge on these scrubs in the meta. So, I'm starting a series, so you want to be a Xenoverse 2 master. And all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. Today's first lesson, the first episode of this series, is going to be talking about stats. Because that's the foundation of being a Xenoverse 2 master. You have to have the right stats going in a ranked and I'm gonna show you and teach you what stats you need to pay attention to. So, with me, you've seen various examples of my splendor. You know how great I am. You know how I hand out these L's, but nobody talks about the stats. So, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the one stat you need to avoid, and that stat is gonna be stamina. You don't want any points in stamina. So let me give you let me give you a moment to ponder on that. Why is that? Why do you not want any points in stamina? You figured it out yet? Okay. So the reason why you don't want any points in stamina is because of the stamina break system. The less stamina you have. The, lo the less amount of time you're going to be stamina broken. That is the advantage to having no points in stamina. Because most people, they figure, well, if I have a lot of points in stamina, I'm going to I'm going to be able to vanish 50 times. I'm going to be able I'm going to be able to use escape move 50 times and I'm going to beat everyone on rank with 125 stamina. <laughs> no, no Timmy, you will not beat anyone with 125 stamina. Stamina is your worst enemy. I can't stress that enough. Zero points in stamina, you will come out. If, for example, I'm a, I'm a Bojack race, but for all intents and purposes, I'm a male human. I have zero points in stamina. So I come out with five bars of stamina. Now five bars of stamina is probably the safest uh, bet because you get one uh you get one escape move you get one uh vanish that's all you ought to need and if you wanted to do some flashy combos they only cost one bar of stamina to use uh offensive vanishes you don't need any more than that that's all you need in this game five bars that's one vanish one evasive or if you want to just do what three three or four evasives or three or four uh, vanishes, that's all you ought to need. So, let's get off of stamina because there's <laughs> there's so many ways to break stamina. You could God of Destruction's Anger, Dodoria Headbutt, you could do it the old fashioned way, and you will be hurting when someone hits you with a fully charged Meteor Burst. But let's move on to other stats. What you, what you wanna focus on, and I'm going to give you the name of a YouTuber that you want to uh, seek out. His name is Code Sly. He's gone and actually crunched the numbers, gained the data for this sort of thing. Um, as a male Earthling, then that's the, that's the race I'm going to be discussing for this video. But as a male Earthling, my best stat is going to be a strike stat, which really means that I shouldn't even pay attention to pe putting any points into it because if I use Dragon Fist or uh, Maltov, Time Skip Maltov, they're still gonna uh, hit like a truck. So that means that my stats need to be focused in other places. That means I could run a 50 or 70 plus basic attack stat, or I could try to max out my key because more key means more supers. And as a human, and considering how many times you're going to be clashing in a battle, that's going to be awfully easy to fill up that key bar and get more supers off. So these are the things that you need to be thinking of as a uh, player. So let me give you a, uh, a mock character build. So let's say you want to have uh, your male earthling. 
you really don't need strike super damage but just if you wanted to go overboard on it you could do uh, 100 strike supers you could do 125 health zero stamina of course you could invest a whole bunch of points into your basic uh, basic attack stat so maybe 50 or 70 or 100 and turn around and let's see cover the health cover the key and just ignore stamina you don't need any anything for key blast supers but if you just wanted to toss the rest of your points in there just so you could use death beam or what have you there you go you got a great character build it's not really that hard to think about um, one or two points are not going to make the difference that's not going to affect your gameplay at all um, for utility stats this is uh, one thing that I've known for a while now but if you don't put 42 or 84 points into your utility stat uh, stats like key or stamina remember ignore stamina so really if you don't put 42 or 84 points into key you're basically wasting those points because you're only going to get one bar one solid bar for every 42 points so if you want a lot of key you can do 100 uh, 100 or 120 uh, key and you can get three extra key bars if you want it it's just basically what you want to do with your character you're you're gonna get five bars of key and five bars of uh, stamina with no stat investment and I'm I'm, ta I'm talking about that from a limitation standpoint I don't know I mean QQ bangs will obviously affect you differently if you're running into a uh, a no limitations battle but remember you do not need a crap ton of stamina once someone breaks your stamina the bigger the bar the the, the more damage you're going to take that's what I want you to uh, take away from this video from this episode stamina is bad 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 once you want you've seen me do it tons of times once I break someone's stamina who's using Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Hit or Gogeta that's typically the end of a fight especially if I pop off two ultimates on you you're done that's all that's all she wrote so with that I'm gonna end the video that's enough that's stats that's covered um, you can really switch it around often if you want to talk about key blast supers if, you, that, if that's the thing that you want to do do it but I'm talking about strike supers if you want to run a brawler build a purely striker build just re you know put the 100 into uh, basic or put the 100 into strike supers 100 key supers it's not that hard to think about it's all about number placement just stay away from stamina that's all you need to do stay away from stamina bars so I'm gonna end the video there if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also also turn on notifications so that you do know when these videos go live because I intend to keep up this series so you want to be a Xenoverse 2 master. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch as well for the updates, and I will see you in the next video.